That brings us to key five, club face control. This is like the ultimate key for touring professionals, good players, as it ties in very much with the path that you're swinging on, which we can see when we're using devices like flight scope or track man. So what we want to be ensuring we do here is as we're moving into the golf ball, if we have our diagonal sweet spot path correct, which is key four, getting out on the ball, we want to ensure that our club face at the point of contact is very slightly open so we can hit that little draw. We like our ball to start to the right. So hitting draws is a little open club face versus people that maybe slice the ball that be coming across the golf ball. They would need to ensure that their club face is a little bit more closed for them to start that fade to the left hand side of the target. Okay, so here we've got Etienne just having a little training device, a, a mini golf club. We can use a racket to illustrate this as well, a tennis racket. Now if we're swinging on the correct diagonal sweet spot path, which is key four, and the club's traveling out, which Etienne will demonstrate to you for draws here, the club head will approach the ball from the inside and the club face will be very slightly open for the ball to start to the right and then draw back to the target. For those of you that do come across the golf ball and our slices out there, they would need a very, very different club face at impact. So we're going to now see Etienne having the face a little bit more closed when he hits the golf ball. Because with us hitting across the golf ball, we need to ensure that our ball starts a little bit to the left of the flag for it to fade back to the target. Now, obviously, with this club face control, grip type, how we hold the golf club, the angle we swing back and down on is, is very, very important. So we really suggest you come and have a look at your golf swing on video to ascertain exactly where you can make improvements in this area of your golf game. So here we're going to go into a little bit more detail now about another misnomer that we find all the time and a misconception that people have. I'm going to have Etienne here demonstrate, you know, people trying to roll the club face to hit draws or close the club face. So Etienne, if you just actually swing over the top of the ball here and close your, release your forearms into the finish. Now we can see by doing this, Etienne's getting the club face very close to the path that he's swinging on, which is a slightly inside out path. And now will result to big draws or hooks. So we want to basically be ensuring that when we're swinging the golf club from the inside on the diagonal sweet spot path, the face is very slightly open at impact, which you can see Etienne doing here to start that ball to the right and let it fall back to the target. Now the other little thing we're going to go into here very, very quickly is how to just create some good tendencies for our backs. And so we generally see slices will move the arms and the grip out in front of them and really roll the sweet spot. We can see there that club face is very open which will tend to make them come over the top and have an open face hitting big cuts where what we see with some of the guys that maybe draw the golf ball they tend to have their hand path a little bit more in the club shaft tends to be a little bit more vertical which we can see Etienne demonstrating here and that again just creates good tendencies on the downswing for us to swing from the inside get that little draw that starts to the right and falls back to the target. Really hope you've enjoyed your experience looking at your video tip just remember, these keys are achievable and measurable by any golfer. Should you have any questions on any of these keys, please feel free to visit our website or look at the YouTube videos on our Facebook and Twitter page.